goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we gotta get to the get to the bottom of this. I know. <laughs> Thinking like a dog. Yes. <laughs> Thinking like a dog. So this half hour, we are answering your questions. Actually, all morning we'd answer your questions with this man. He is a dog behavioralist, which is different. In behavior and obedience, it's different. But we know a lot of animals out there may not behave their best. And so this is Blair, and he is going to help us understand what we need to do to make sure that our dogs are acting appropriately, correct? This is true. Okay, so we have a couple of questions. Okay. I want to actually send it back over to Cody Stark because okay. somebody yes. just texted you yes. a question, Cody. What is it? Jim Bradford from Bradford Print. Press control fame okay. uh, says uh, we have a nine month old blue nose pit who's only aggressive towards the older lab who's 12, but then plays normal with my wife's silver lab that's nine years old. Mm -hmm. What's okay. going on there? What do you so think? So the older dog. So the older dog is being. A it's said, aggressive yeah, the, to the older dog. The right? younger dog is aggressive to the older dog, but, but not it plays well the, with the nine year old. Yeah. Okay, right yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. Depending upon, again, this could be a plethora of things occurring. Yeah. Right? Um, depending upon the energy of the 12 year old dog, if it's any type of weakened state, mm -hmm. um, you know, that could be, you know, again, a weakened state and illness can be shown as a sign of weakness, and oh. other dogs actually attack that. Oh. Uh, it's unhealthy for, you know, the family unit. You know, we, uh, I don't really, you know, utilize the semantics of pack, but that's yeah. how kind of people think of it. But it's really just your family, you know, but if that, in a, in a dog, family dog pack that's going to be an unhealthy thing so if the dog has any sort of illness that could be a reason behind it okay um, if it has like a spastic energy which I doubt though with a 12 year old dog yeah um, so I mean we'd have to further investigate okay. that situation. and by the way yeah. Blair Diamond is available to hire to come to your house and to help you figure out what's going on um, we also have another question and this one uh, came to me on Facebook this morning so I have Kippy O'Neill court were you able to pull up the question yes awesome. okay so Kippy first wrote that she has a 14 month old puppy who became afraid and she doesn't know why. It says never used to be. It's a boxer husky mix. They call it boxy. Mm -hmm. And she's really sad, wants to know what she can do. But she said the puppy is all of a sudden scared and didn't used to be. And it's 14, 14 months. 14 months. Yeah. Okay. Dogs go through go through four critical development periods for the, through the first 16 weeks of life. Okay. After that, they're in their juvenile period to about 18 months of age. Okay. Um, there could have been some sort of traumatic incident that occurred. We'd have to really find out what kind of the trigger was. Right. Um, and so again, further investigation. Okay. So you so know. right now, if it's it, but it's something that probably can be fixed down the road. Oh yeah, I mean you grow out of. Oh absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You know definitely. Okay. Hang in there, Kippy. We'll continue to get some more answers to more of your questions coming up in the next uh, conversation we're going to have here with Blair Excellent. Diamond. Thank you again. Excellent. All right, back over to you guys. <laughs> Thanks so much. And we just lost a duck. It's, it's <laughs> loose in the studio. Mason! Come here, Mason! <laughs>